Hey guys, it's me Kelly. I just wanted to say hey and then also show you the lovely li uh, Ivy floor plan for H&H Homes. Hang tight. So here's the front elevation of this Ivy. I love the little added feature right there and the porch is actually pretty deep so it's definitely usable. Um, this lot has, and it's already built, this lot has um, a lamp for so it's nighttime security and then also this one also backs up to woods and we'll go around that area but right now let's go in and I like also I wanted to point out I like the different paneling and the siding just gives you a little bit of a, a different look a little character it's a little bit more of the neighborhood at least this is what it looks like out in front of this lot they got a lot of building going on but you're on the back side so it's nice They've put in some stonework here. You have some nice window trim. Stonework is even on the pillars. And then enough room for a couple chairs and a table. So you're coming in. You have a keyless door entry that comes standard with all H&H &H homes. And then this is your front foyer area. I'll turn around. In this model, they have put hardwoods all the way through, but they've got them covered up to protect them. And I will say that all of the bedrooms look to have that ADA door frame. Um, these are the bigger doors. They are the 3.0 doors. Um, and even the closet doors are double doors, so that way you can come in and really get access to the full closet. This is not a walk-in. This is your standard closet. But this is a front bedroom. You can turn it into an office or a guest ensuite. They have carpet in this one. Some pretty windows, some nice lighting. This right here is your coat closet. It also has your electronics hub. And when I say that, that would be probably for their internet right there. You plug all that in or your cable. And then this is your secondary bathroom or your hall bath. Very convenient. Great for guests, um, either staying overnight or for, you know, anyone who's living here. Nice tall, nine foot ceilings, taller vanity here. This is kind of an espresso with some brushed nickel finishes, um, cultured marble, so it's all white. And then this room also has its own linen closet, so they give you lots of storage. You open up into the kitchen. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Here's your other secondary bedroom. Pretty much a mirror of the other one. The first one. Okay. Again, this is your kitchen. Very open. Nice big granite slab on your island with a hangover so that way you can put some bar stools there or roll right up. You have power in the uh, island. This is where your dishwasher will go, obviously. They use Moen, or no, Peerless finishes. And this one has a under cabinet mount sink. I'm sorry, this one is under construction so it's a hot mess right now. This home has gas. Not a lot of our communities here have gas. But this home has gas and electric, so it depends on which type of, um, you know, ba uh, sorry, which type of stove you'd like. I'd like to point out that they do a tile backsplash, and this is gorgeous. I really like that, actually. Looks really good with that granite. So you have another little counter space here. Could be for the coffee pot. And then you have your space here with an above mount cabinet for your, or your refrigerator. You do also have a pretty big pantry. I will say this is the one door besides the little closet door that is not ADA accessible. Your garage access is also here. This is a two car garage. It also has access to your attic space if ever anybody needed in there. You do get a uh, garage door opener. And that right over there is your water shutoff valve. The wood out here is for um, hurricane uh, covers for uh, windows. Not that we get a lot of that out this way, but you never know. 
So the view from your kitchen is quite open. The way they have it planned is you're going to put your your uh, dining room table here. So you'll have your bar stools way over there. Then you can put a nice long uh, farm table here if you want that and center it. But then you still have an enormous space for your living room and lots of light. I have I don't have the light on in here and it's still just flooding in and it's later in the day as you know. So um, in this area right here, right off of the dining room is your laundry area. And again, it's two double ADA size 3.0 doors. So nice big space. Anyone can definitely get in there and utilize it. And then your master is back here in the back. Just come back, it's got its own little corridor. All the bedrooms are carpeted, but if you don't like that, we can easily take it up or add it to the next one that you, if you decide you want to build. Again, beautiful windows, lots of light flooding in from this area. And then around the corner here is your master ensuite. Now in this model, we have a step up shower, but it does have a seat in it. However, um, they are not inclined to take this one out at this time. We'd have to build our own if that's the one caveat for this area. Um, they have a raised vanity on both areas, you know, your, your upgraded vanity, but then you also have this nice little makeup vanity. So it makes it really nice. And then you have double racks in your closet, which is really nice. It's not a waste of space. And then your bathroom powder room or bathroom potty is right here. And again, lots of space. This is a very big door. They want you to have full access to be able to get in there with a wheelchair or what have you and turn around. So, yeah, see how much space. I will say a lot of the builders aren't even doing towel bars, and these guys are doing a great job. Towel bars, toilet paper bars, um, handles, that's not usually standard. Tile backsplash, I mean, these guys are throwing it all in. They're doing a really great job. Let's go check out the back. So here you have half covered and half exposed. So you can put your grill out this way or some patio furniture. You also have a nice view off the back. Not a lot of landscaping you have to maintain. Let me move back here as far as I can. And then this. So you could probably end up screening that porch area right there if you wanted to or not. It's up to you. The grass is already lovely and it's maintained really well. It's nice and green. So I'll go over here so you can see the other side. So you do have quite a bit of distance from your neighbor in the back. Then you also have all this green space back here. And your property line goes to that pink stake right there. Just like it goes to this pink stake over here. So you have lots of outdoor space if you want it. But then you have an enormous house for what you really need. Hey guys, so here's the clubhouse. It's just a, it's a bathroom with a, a two bathrooms, sorry, with um, water fountains and you do have a fireplace as well. But you also have this beautiful pool with all of the sitting area, uh, sitting chairs and it has a zero entry right there into the community pool. So it's very easily accessed and it'd probably be really great if uh, you did have somebody who needed to use a walker or a wheelchair into it. Here's the fireplace for the uh, clubhouse so you could come out here and sit and light a little fire for the community. They probably do a lot of events. There is also plenty of parking and this is also where you come and get your mail. This is the hub for the mail. So you come down here and you park and you pick up your mail or you go to the pool. It's gorgeous. So lots of space, wonderful amenities. They're going to love it. All right, guys. Well, that was the tour of the Ivy floor plan by H&H &H Homes. Let me know if you guys think it's going to meet your needs. Not too many of our builders are building with the standards of the ADA doorway frames, um, especially out of the 55 plus community. So let me know if you guys are interested in this one or building on one of their many 
other lots in this community. Um, they do have some a lot of accessibility and some nice amenities. Okay, bye!